cameras filmed the heartwarming moment when an orangutan baby and its mother were rescued. Their reaction will make you cry. Orangutans are one of the most endangered animals in the world due to a number of reasons, all mostly related to human interference. These amazing animals are hunted for their meat, poached to be sold on the black market as pets, and killed through deforestation. But it was through a wildfire that was tearing through the jungle that this mother and her baby orangutan found their lives changed forever. The story happened back in 2015, in a small village in Indonesia. A mother orangutan and her baby were enjoying their day in the forest when, out of nowhere, large flames started licking at the trees all around the two animals. As the fire got bigger, the heat began to increase causing many animals to flee the area, whilst others sadly perished in the flames. It was a wildfire, and a bad one at that. Many of these fires are illegally started for land clearance purposes, with the locals not caring about all the wildlife that they destroy in the process. Sadly, a lot of the time these fires end up raging out of control in the dry weather conditions and spreading for miles. The mother orangutan, not knowing what was happening, began to get scared and climbed to the top of one of the tallest trees that she could find, believing that she and her baby would be safe there. For a while, the mother and son duo were safe as they listened to the sound of the trees falling all around them. But then the wind changed direction and the fire began to make its way towards the two animals. As the trunk of the tree began to be consumed by flames and collapse, the mama ape made a huge leap and grabbed onto the nearby tree's branches. Thankfully, she managed to grab onto the trunk of the nearby tree safely. Not wanting to put her baby in danger, the female ape began to make her way from tree to tree in an effort to get away from the fire that raged behind her. After a while, the female orangutan stopped in a tree and looked around. She could see the smoke of the wildfire in the distance, but it seemed as if she had finally managed to get far enough away from it to be out of immediate danger. Not feeling completely safe, the female orangutan quickly made her way down to the forest floor as her baby clung to her. The two apes made their way on the floor and further away from the heat of the wildfire. Soon enough, the mama ape had found her way on the edge of a small village. Feeling very hungry, the mama cautiously made her way out of the trees and into the fields that seemed to be growing some sort of vegetable. Dotted around the field were a few villagers, working on the fields, but the mama orangutan was far enough away from them that she would be able to eat undisturbed. Creeping into the field, the ape began to eat what she could, whilst her baby climbed down off of her chest and began to look around. The mama made sure that her baby was within her sights at all times, but let him look around. For a while, the mama and her baby were left undisturbed in the field, but the female ape began to get thirsty. She scooped her baby up and made her way over to a local well. She found a bucket of water sitting on the edge of the well and began to drink from it. But as she was drinking, one of the villagers who worked in the field spotted the ape and her baby. The villager immediately alerted the rest of the village and the two apes were quickly surrounded. Not wanting their crops to be eaten by the ape and viewing the animal as nothing more than a pest, the frightened locals reportedly hurled rocks at them and tried to tie them up. Thankfully, the malnourished mother and her baby were found by volunteers of the organization International Animal Rescue. But before they were able to rescue the apes, the villagers had decided to take matters into their own hands. They ended up injuring the mother and her baby with the rocks that they had thrown at them. As well as that, to try and stop the animals from running away so that they would not return to eat more of the crops, the villagers had tied the mama orangutan's arms up using some rope which unfortunately left rope burns on the poor animal. Thanks to one kind-hearted villager though, the International Animal Rescue Organization was contacted and told of the two animals who needed their help. The charity helpers quickly set off for the village. Once at the location, the volunteers witnessed for themselves just how helpless the two orangutans looked. Wanting to get them to safety as quickly as possible, the rescue team anesthetized both animals before loading the female orangutan and her baby into a carry crate on their van. The volunteers then quickly headed back to the sanctuary where they would be able to look after the two apes. After arriving at the sanctuary, the mother orangutan and her baby were given separate health checks by the on-site veterinarian who deemed both of them severely malnourished and suffering from cuts and bruises. 
The animals were then reunited again and put in quarantine for a few days so that they wouldn't get any of the other animals at the sanctuary sick if there was a hidden condition that the vet hadn't initially been able to pick up on. For the next few weeks, both the mama orangutan, who the staff named Nina, and her baby, who was dubbed Banjigan, which means rascal, recovered their health under the watchful eye of the sanctuary's vets. The two apes' injuries were well taken care of, with vets applying special healing creams to the burns that they both had sustained and cleaning out the cuts and bruises that had been made by the animals run-in with the villagers. As well as that, Nina and Banjigan were put on a special diet which would ensure that the two orangutans gained the weight that they needed to be healthy in a safe and consistent manner without causing them to become sick. After a few weeks, both the mama ape and her baby began to look a bit healthier. They had regained the weight that they had both lost and their attitudes seemed much more content and playful. This was a good sign as it meant that no lasting damage had been afflicted upon the two apes that would prevent them from returning to the wild when the time came. As well as that, with a consistent food supply, Banjigan had started to noticeably grow, becoming bigger and more curious. The volunteers at the sanctuary would often watch as the young orangutan tried to play with the older apes in the enclosure by teasing them or purposefully stealing their items to get them to chase him. Nina had also settled in well, bonding with the other female orangutans that the sanctuary had rescued. Finally, the day came that both Nina and Banjigan were deemed healthy enough to be released back into the wild. They were set free in a well-known conservation area in the West Kalimantan province, where they would be safe from poachers, loggers, and hopefully wildfires. The two apes happily entered the forest, content to be back in their natural habitat once more. Whilst the volunteers who had rescued the two amazing animals were sad to see them leave the sanctuary, they knew it was for the best, as the apes belonged in the wild with their own kind. The two animals were also tagged so that the volunteers could keep track of their movements and make sure that they were both happy and healthy. It also gave the IAR vital information about how the orangutans acted in the wild and the kind of behaviors and patterns that they exhibited and what they meant. With this information, organizations such as the International Animal Rescue are able to determine how best to help these amazing animals in the wild and educate local villagers so that stories like Nina and Banjigan's don't happen again. What a beautiful story! Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories just like this one.